All right, so in the last video, we left off with something like this, where we have a single job named build, and it runs our composer install, it runs our PHP code sniffer, runs our yarn install, and then yarn production, and then our PHP tests. So I had a, a lot of trouble with using GitHub's artifacts. I don't think they're quite ready for a video yet. So instead, what we're going to do is break this down into two jobs instead of three, and we'll do a with a JS job by itself with yarn install and yarn production, and then a PHP job on its own. So the first thing we're going to do is add another job called build.js, give it a name of build.js, and then we're going to copy the runs on, the container, and the uses steps from our main build. And then the next thing we're going to do is copy our lines for yarn install and yarn run production. Throw those up there. Then next, I'm going to name my current build to build PHP, build PHP, and and that is it. So now what'll happen is when we go to build this workflow, the build.js job and the build.php job are gonna run at the same time, which should help speed up our job, our overall workflow. So let's run it now and see how it goes. So I'm committing the changes and because we're triggered for on push, I can go back to the actions tab, refresh, and I can see I have a new uh, workflow running. Click on master, and then you can see on the left here we have two jobs running build.js and build.php. So the build.js is initializing containers while build.php is on the same step. So the, right now they're running at the same time. So I'll report back in when they're finished. All right, so I'm back. Both jobs finished successfully, which means overall my complete workflow has finished successfully. Now I want to take a look at the runtime. So if I look at my list of actions, so to run both jobs together, it took a, a minute, 38 seconds. And if I go back to my previous successful builds, it was taking a minute, 58 seconds. So it's a bit faster to run them in parallel, and I highly recommend it. What I'd like to see is the ability to um, upload an artifact and download an artifact using GitHub app. Um, GitHub's action called upload artifact and download artifact. However, in my testing, uploading the artifacts takes a very long time, like it was over five minutes to upload my composer dependencies and it hadn't even finished yet. So in that case, going to the three build setup where I build my JS, I build my PHP, and then I run my tests as my third set step, it isn't really practical because it would take longer to upload the artifacts and it would just build it in sequence. Um, so it all depends on your setup and what you need to build, but this is one way that you can run builds in parallel using GitHub Actions. If you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter at Owen Conti, and I'll see you next time.